be a quick pre-video disclaimer. If you are wondering why we look a little bit tired, if we seem a little bit off, we did just get back from the gym from an intense workout. And just overall, today was an intense day. We were at walking, whole bunch of things. But if we seem like we're a little bit off here, then that right there is the reason why we are exhausted from being active all day today. But with all that being said, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video that I guess you could say is somewhat on demand because I had a couple of you guys actually tag me and inform me of the subject of today's video. And, well, wouldn't you believe it? We actually have ourselves an update in regards to the whole situation with Niantic and with the whole task force thing, which, last I checked, Pokemon Go was in the fucking military, is it? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we have ourselves an article here that we are going to be reading and then giving our thoughts on, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we are here on the website where we have ourselves the article, What We Heard, an update from our task force. Still can't get over the fact that it's called a task force, but let's see what we have here. First, I want to thank you for being patient. Your passion and concerns have not been lost on us the past few weeks, and our internal task force has spent a lot of time discussing the changes we made to the Pokestop and gym interaction distances. Now, we want to give you an update as promised. What we heard from the community. Pokestops and gyms are one way we try to nudge trainers to get outside and discover new places, walk an extra kilometer or two, and meet others. It's been inspiring to see so many players around the world come together as a result of this design. To me, it means Pokemon Go is important to many people, and it means trainers express their concerns because they care about the game. We've been listening to player feedback and also set up four rounds roundtable conversations where I spoke with over 30 community leaders from around the world. Thank you all for your participation. The two main themes we heard were the 80 meter interaction radius for Pokestops and gyms has been an incredibly positive quality of life improvement over the past year and a half, and Niantic has a lot of room to grow when it comes to communication with our players. Ain't that the fucking truth. Pokestop and gym interaction distance. We understand that the increased 80 meter interaction distance became a welcome benefit for many players. That is clear from the feedback we saw from the community. So we want to keep it. As announced last week, 80 meters, not 40 meters, will be the base interaction radius for Pokestops and gyms globally from now on. On. We still believe in the importance of discovering interesting places and things in the real world, and we don't want to lose sight of that. The team and I are eager to develop new ways that motivate and reward trainers for exploring and exercising in the real world. As a result of the task force, we have new ideas to explore, and we look forward to sharing more in the coming months. Seasonal Global Bonuses we went through a rough learning experience recently when we had to adjust the game settings for New Zealand quickly in response to their lockdown. This experience taught us that we are not going to be able to effectively adjust the experience on a country-by-country -country basis in real time. Starting with the Season of Mischief, all bonuses will be set at a global level and be tied directly to the seasons in Pokemon Go. You can find more details on those bonuses in our announcement yesterday here. Communication. We should be communicating and engaging more with trainers. I hope that with your patience and understanding, we can do better here. Um, yeah, you can actually do a lot better, but that shit right there is just my own personal opinion. Anyways, let's keep going. There are many ways we can improve, but to start, we're making the following commitments to you. Starting in October, we will begin publishing a developer diary every other month to share the latest priorities, events, and features for the game. We are going to set up regular conversations with community leaders to continue the dialogue we began this month. We will continue our work on updating the known issues page and in those efforts we'll prioritize bringing greater visibility into the status of existing bugs for trainers. We love how passionate Pokemon Go trainers are about this game and we want you to know how passionate we are about the game and community as well. The lack of communication regarding the Pokestop and 
and gym interaction radius was not handled well on our part, and it was a great learning experience on how to better engage with our players moving forward. Our top priority is, and always has been, to get people outside into the real world and creating human connections with each other. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us. You'll hear from us again soon. All right, so now that we have ourselves the context on the table, well, actually, before I get into my thoughts, I'm sure you have a few things you got to say about this. Well, it's a start. A start? <laughs> it's a good start. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. Um, it doesn't take fucking community outrage to understand the importance of communicating with people, a.k.a. the very customers that made the game Pokemon Go literally billions of dollars. <laughs> like, the game has been active for over five years now, you know what I'm saying? And it's 2021, and only now you're like, oh, um, okay, we, we, we realize that communication is important. It doesn't take rocket science to figure out how important communication is. However... This isn't going to be a strictly let's shit on Niantic here type of video. I will give them a carrot where that carrot is due. They did respond. And you know what? Like, really the best thing that we can do is hope for the best. But I will warn you yet again, do not hold your breath because you might end up dying from suffocation, number one. And number two, set your expectations real low. I'm talking in the negatives, okay? This right here, I will acknowledge, is a good start, but my god, I just have to say, like, again, it shouldn't take community outrage to get this type of response and this type of realization on the importance of communication. You know what I'm saying? But we'll just have to see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And something else, actually, I, that just dawned on me is who are these community leaders? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like that based on the wording here of this article, these community leaders seem to have more immediate connection uh, and contact with Niantic and stuff like that. But we don't have any names of these community leaders. Like, are they uh, involved with uh, Pokemon YouTubers? Like, are these community leaders Pokemon Go YouTubers? Are they completely different people that we don't know about? We do need names. And I say this because... Say if we have ourselves more concerns to bring forth in regards to Pokemon Go and the functionalities of the game, well then who are we going to go to if we can't go directly to the source? We can't go directly to Niantic. Who are we going to go to uh, if we don't know the names of these community leaders? Now, I do understand, you know, the importance of being anonymous and stuff like that because I'm sure that these community leaders would be bombarded with a ton of messages but, I mean, at the same time, I do feel like that there is a better kind of way to go about this. But that right there is just my own take. And actually, now that we're on this sort of subject, there is something else that I've been meaning to say. But I don't want this to come off as me bashing this feature down. Because for all intents and purposes, this is a very welcomed feature. And that feature would be the remote raids. Now... In this post right here, they want to talk about their vision, right? They want to talk about the importance of going out and discovering interesting places and things in the real world. Yet, when it comes to remote raids, that kind of contradicts that vision right there. Because you could literally be in your own home and you could do these remotes, you know, whether uh, these are raids that are around you, whether you are invited, things like that. So, I kind of, uh, it kind of is a little bit hard to believe that, uh, they believe in the importance of all that stuff, yet remote raid passes are a thing. But here's the thing, here's actually the funny thing that I'm getting to. They thought it was a good idea, initially, to reduce the interaction radius from 80 meters to 40 meters for the sake of people to get out more and stuff like that, which was incredibly done in poor taste like just really truly butchered yet remote raid passes were a thing so i don't know this it's just something i kind of want to mention um <laughs> and i don't know it just it kind of gets me uh that they would do something like that initially yet remote remote raid passes were a thing you know what, what are your thoughts on that i enjoy the remote raids because i didn't mm -hmm. get out much anyway before the pandemic so yep. i'm good with the remote 
And, you know, it's like I said, it is a very welcome feature, but I do need to point out how it kind of uh, contradicts things here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you know, they talk about wanting to go out and exploring places, but yet remote raid passes are kind of the antithesis of that, if you know what I mean. But with that being said, though, that's kind of just our thoughts right here. We didn't want to really make too long of a response to this. And as far as the Twitter responses go, because this right here made its rounds on Twitter, there were quite some mixed reactions to that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking, well, doesn't quite surprise me because Niantic has been in the line of fire when it comes to controversy over the last little bit. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time as well in viewing this video. And special shout out to those that brought this to our attention. This right here is kind of a big deal. So with that being said, have yourself a damn good one and we will see you guys in the next video.